Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. We are continuing our adventures towards Beagle Point, having already crossed the Galactic Center from the bubble way back over here. And we are continuing all the way across to the other side, where Beagle Point is located. Uh, let's go ahead and get off the ground, up into space, and onto our next waypoint, so that we can... Uh, and get a move on. If you're just joining the series, we are focusing on exobiology, trying to level up our rank and also just make crazy amounts of money so that hopefully at some point when we get back to the bubble, we can buy a fleet carrier and start doing some permanent deep space exploration just to, you know, kind of stay away from everybody. <laughs> that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the goal at this point. Yeah, I definitely need to fix my controller. I don't know if the dead zone got messed up or, or something, but I'm starting to have this ir this irritating thing where even if I'm not holding onto the stick, it's wanting to pull to the right. It's wanting to yaw to the right. So uh, what we typically do is we hop into a system. We check out the we well we do the discovery scanner first, then we check the system map, see if anybody has done the hard work for us already, and if not, we will. Uh, do a full spectrum system scan, see if there are any high value planets and biological sources, assuming there are few enough bodies for us to do a full scan of everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop here. I am going to take a second to hop into my controls and make sure that my dead zones are correct. Yeah, no, my yaw axis is still pretty... Hmm, not sure why I'm starting to have issues. These old controllers, these old these old joysticks that I have, is it still pulling to the right? All right, yeah. Sorry that you guys are having to sit through this, but uh, I'm not. Look how much dead zone I'm having to put into this. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's hop into the full spectrum. All right, system scanner, you can see at the bottom right, we're looking for Earth-like worlds, ammonia worlds, and water worlds. There aren't any here, but there are few enough bodies in this system that we're gonna go ahead and do a scan. So in the top right, you can see features over there. We're looking for biological. We're looking for at least two on a single body. That'll make it much more likely that we're going to actually find something interesting rather than just a back. So you can see geological there. We're looking for biological. Um, if we can find one that has at least two different bio sources of biology on it, it makes it much more likely that we're going to find something interesting. Let's just okay, back out of there. And then scan all of the planets as quickly as we can to get this done. Go. Uh, let's see there. More geological. Not particularly helpful. Uh, come on. And unfortunately, it does not seem like we're going to get lucky with this system. So we're going to move on to the next one. Now, the second half of these videos is mostly me just talking about random things. And, uh, you know, it is completely random for the most part, unless I start out with a subject I have on on my mind. At the moment, I kind of don't. I recently went through some drama with a Star Citizen related video that I ended up removing because it just, it wasn't worth, it wasn't worth the heat. It wasn't worth the, the it wasn't worth it. <laughs> this is really worth it. I don't want to spend another episode talking about that, uh, but you know, the mental drain that came from all of that has made it so that you know I'm, I'm really trying to I'm really trying to find something else to talk about because dude <laughs> um, I don't really know I don't really know oh come on come on system scanner uh, you know when I don't have anything to talk about I generally resort to just narrating what I'm doing in the game and I mean I guess that's I guess that's fine but. You know, trying to have a topic a topic of conversation for every video that I do is a little bit uh, a little bit difficult for me because there's only so many things you can talk about. <laughs> I mean, I guess not. I guess there's an infinite number of things you can talk about, but there's only a, a, a limited number of things that I would be interested enough in talking about to make it interesting for you guys. So, it's like I can't. It's not like I could sit down and make a list of you know topics that I can talk about. Yeah. I know a lot of people uh, 
A lot of people have the thought that I should just let you guys know what has happened since the last time I make it make it made a video, but my life right now is such that nothing happens <laughs> other than, you know, my channel related stuff, and I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of hearing about that. Uh, the, the the drama with the Star Citizen thing was ridiculous. Okay, well we have a water world here, so let's see if we can find that. There's too many bodies for us to do a full-on scan of the system. Okay. Did we go all the way around already? Okay, here we go. So there's uh, there's one water world. So it looks like there's going to be two here. Are they right next to each other? Wow, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and get out of this. We'll go scan the wa two water worlds right next to each other. That That's quite unusual. To have two water worlds that are right next to each other. All right, very nice. So, yeah, uh, as I said towards the beginning of the video, our goal at this point is just to make it out to Beagle Point, make as much money as we can, and then, uh, you know, I'll make another decision once we get to Beagle Point, depending on how much money we have by the time we get there. I'm partly thinking that I may, um, you know, complete the trip out to Beagle Point the way that we're doing right now, and then I might, you know, try to hurry up and get back to the bubble after that, just, you know grind out the trip back to the bubble and then maybe do that billionaires whatever it is that there's a billionaires uh there's a billionaires it's like the road to riches for exploration but it's for exobiology there's a website out there that will take you to all the different to, to a bunch of different planets that will help you uh, not it's, it's intended to level up your exobiology i wasn't aware of it until i stumbled across a video on youtube but uh, apparently you can make a couple billion credits off of that. So if we can make another billion or so credits out here to Beagle Point, and then I can, you know, uh, you know, grind my way, just hurry up, get back to the bubble, do that billionaire's ca causeway or billionaire's something. I, I forget what it's called. Um, but uh, go back and do that. Oh, get it back on the screen there. Get back and do that, make a couple of billion credits relatively quickly. Then, uh, you know make some decisions after that. It just it kind of depends on how much we're actually going to make from this trip out to Beagle Point. All right. So, that should be it for that. Now we need to look up the other one. It's on the other side of the body here. Surface scan complete. Get ourselves over to this one. It's nice that they're like right next to each other. That's super amazing. That's super convenient. So yeah, uh, we'll definitely go all the way out to Beagle Point. We'll get our. We'll, we'll see how much money we get from selling our stuff there, and then you know, depending on how much money we make off of that, I may decide to just speed back to the bubble, do that billionaires whatever it's called, to uh, you know, a little bit more rapidly get this uh, get some money built up. And then maybe we'll get to our uh, fleet carrier faster. We'll see. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. I'm not. The thing is, is I'm not that in that big of a hurry. Uh, as long as you guys are interested in watching, I'm not necessarily. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. I'm not necessarily worried too much about hurrying up and meeting meeting certain goals. Um. So realistically, it just kind of depends. It just kind of depends on uh, what the situation is. How much money do we make? How, how long is it going to take us to get things done? Is everybody still interested in the journey? That kind of thing. So we'll have to wait and see. We're still we're still 219 jumps from our next waypoint to Beagle Point. So we still have several, you know, we still have hundreds of jumps to go, which means we still have dozens of episodes to make before we're even going to get to Beagle Point. So it's just, it, we're kind of... I don't want to say I don't want to use the term slow rolling because I'm not like intentionally trying to drag this out. It's just it takes a long time to get there, and because of the way these videos go, the it's going to take us a long time in real life to get there as well. So as long as you guys keep enjoying the content, that's all that really matters to me. Uh, I just I like being out in space. It's fun. Oh, only two bodies for this one. I think I will go ahead and uh, fix my hip layout because I don't I clearly don't need weapons all right what we got going on here it was just two bodies right so we're gonna get out of this gravity well here turn off towards the next system and move on so you know 
Some, uh, hold on a second, I'm getting a text message. Uh, some of these, some of these episodes are going to have a focused topic of discussion. Some of these episodes are just going to be me randomly just trying to fill the silence because, you know, not every episode can have, not every episode can have some kind of drama or specific event that happened. And we're just going to try to be here and enjoy space as much as we can. <laughs> I would imagine that tomorrow's episode might have a little bit more to talk about because uh, the episode I recorded yesterday from where I am right now is the one where I talked about why I deleted the Star Citizen review video. So I'm sure people are going to have something to say about that. Um, that's fine. You know, people are entitled to their opinion. Whatever. What do we got here? So there's only eight bodies in this system, which makes it much more reasonable to scan. Still no biology. We got here, boom, and boom. And yeah, it's just gonna be a gas giant. That's all that's left is a gas giant. And it's not on the main plane for the system, so I'm not gonna waste my time on it. Moving on. I have to say, I'm really happy that the uh, channel is experiencing some consistent growth in the last several months. I'm, I'm at the point now where my subscriber count is, you know, during certain periods, it's going up by, you know, 10 subscribers or more a day, and that's that's encouraging. It's, uh, it's nice to watch that subscriber count continuing to go up. I'm really looking forward to hitting that 1,000 subscriber mark because it means that I will be able to fully monetize my channel <clears throat> and, uh, you know, get to the point where I am able to start getting some of that ad revenue, which will be pretty nice, uh, you know, assume, depending on how much I actually get, you know, it's hard, it's hard to know. It's hard to know what you're going to get out of that, and I know it's not going to be anything super significant. Um, you know, no, not even the big channels make a ton of money off of ad revenue, but it's better than nothing. Uh, ooh, uh, okay, but we're looking for at least one. Well, hmm. I don't know. We're looking. We're generally looking for at least two biological signatures to uh, to do that. But the rule I'm the rule I'm. We're not at the 15 minute mark yet, so we'll keep going. Uh, the rule I've been trying to set myself lately is that um, I want to find at least two biological sources on a, on a body so that we have a good chance of finding something interesting. But then again, at the same time, I'd rather have something than nothing. So after we hit the 15 minute mark, I, I've kind of started setting this idea that um, if we find something with a single biological signature, we need to, after the 15 minute mark, we'll just go ahead and go do that so that we at least get something scanned in an episode. Because it's getting kind of frustrating to have these. We, we've had this, we've had this really weird, it's like all on or all off. We either have nothing, we find nothing at all, or we find like two planets next to each other that have crazy amounts of biology. It's, it's been kind of an all or nothing, all or nothing situation. And I'm, I'm trying to avoid I'm trying to avoid the. Uh, I'm trying to reduce the number of bust episodes that we have, where just nothing happens. So once once we pass that 15 minute mark, I'll go ahead and start go, go, going to planets that have single biologies, biology uh, diversity in it. Just got to kind of evolve our thought process as we're going. I mean, once we get our fleet carrier and, you know, we're going to be in an area for a long time, then I'm not going to be so... Because we won't, we won't have, like, super crazy specific destinations that we're trying to go to. We'll just move 500 or 1,000 light years in a direction and see how it goes. And then, you know, we'll just pop into every system nearby. Because my, my plan will be that it will move the fleet carrier once a week and then, uh, you know kind of progress through the galaxy as best we can. All right, looks like this one's gonna have a water world as well. Kind of hoping it only has one though. I know it's weird to ask, to hope that it only has, um, to ask for less of, for less money or whatever, but okay, good. But it takes a long time to approach things in this, ver in this mode. So if you can reduce the amount of time it takes to 
fly around in super cruise mode and just be jumping from system to system. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> So we'll make ourselves a little bit of money off of this water world and then move on to the next system. Actually, I need to hurry up and speed up a little bit, though. I keep Sometimes I forget to pump the, uh, pop the throttle at the full throttle because, yeah, you can leave it in Super Cruise mode or the uh, Super Cruise Assist mode, but that takes forever to get anywhere. So I generally, wait, I generally put it up to full throttle until we get within seven seconds. Then I'll pop it down and let the Super Cruise Assist bring us in. That's pretty standard for those of you who uh, have not played this game before or who are inexperienced. A lot of people don't even use Super Cruise Assist. They don't. Inst it's a module that you install, so a lot of people don't even use it because they think it's uh, a waste of a spot. And I can understand the mentality, but it's too convenient for me to leave it out of any ship that I fly. I'm willing to give up the spot. <laughs> I'm willing to give up the spot. Especially when you're going to be out in the black like this and you're constantly having to approach bodies and sometimes they're far away and you're just you're doing a lot of travel like this. It's 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 almost a necessity. And make sure we're on the window here. Seven probes, so we'll do six this way. Two, three, four, five. I really wish that those reloaded faster. Six. <laughs> like Ugh. They know we're going to need to do that many. They, should, they need to adjust the reload time for that so we're not having to wait for it. <clears throat> Alright. Efficiency target bonus means we're going to get a little bit more money for that body. And away we go. Alright, let's hope that the next system is going to have a biological signature in it. Even if it's just one, we'll go ahead and go check it out. I'm, I'm hoping that we're not going to get... I'm hoping we're not going to get kind of screwed by not having absolutely nothing come up for the rest of the for the rest of the time, and we end up having to land on a uh, on just a random body somewhere. All right, here we go. Uh, th this means that we have a decent chance of finding something because we're not going to have to spend 20 minutes uh, scanning one system. Go ahead and get past the star a little bit. Hop into the scanner. Another another water world. Fortunately, hmm. what do we have? What do we have? Come on, give me biology. No, that's not biology. So this is another one where we have two water worlds in the same... Okay, I mean, that's great. We're gonna get some more, uh, we're gonna get some more money, but... I'd much rather have some biology. <laughs> I'd much rather have biology. All right, yeah, um... I think I'm going to go ahead and put a short little cut in here because this is going to take a minute to get there. All right. Feels like we took forever to get to this one. <clears throat> get ourselves close enough to where we can do some probes. We'll turn off to the other ones, probably put another cut in, depending on how far away it is. And then we can move on to the next system and hopefully find some biology. All right. One, two. I always do the front and center one last because it's the closest to me. So you want to do the you want to do the, your first probe toward all the way to the back of the planet because it's gonna that's gonna take the longest to get there. <clears throat> and then you want to do the the center of the planet. Uh, you want to do the center of the planet in front of you last because it's it's gonna be the closest one to you. So I generally do I generally do the back, then a ring around the planet. Get myself perfectly lined up here. Oh, wait, what? Oh. What just happened? Sorry, I had to figure that out. I want, I, the Super Cruise Assist will perfectly line you up, so I like to do that and then pop it into full throttle mode. All right, well, let's go scan this. We'll see how it ends up turning out. I'm going to go ahead and put another cut in here because this is going to take a minute to get over there. Alright, we'll get this scan completed, and then we'll move on to the next system. 
And we're already at the 20 minute mark now, so we're gonna have to start looking for a place to land so we can keep this video relatively short. I'm trying really hard to not make these, oops, to not make these any longer than 30 minutes. Uh, six probes, so yeah, back of the planet, top, north, south, or east, or west, <laughs> east, south south and then the closest one so that's the pattern that i use because it makes it so that mo the probes are almost good almost always going to land pretty close or pretty close to each or pretty pretty close to the same time <laughs> i think I, i've said this before but i think it'd be really cool if they would adjust the travel system you know i know the lore doesn't necessarily allow for it but if they adjusted the travel system to make a like galactic version of super cruise that would be so cool I feel like it would make the game much more fun and interesting, at least to me, because you'll feel like you're actually you know, actually flying around the galaxy instead of just hopping from star to star. I think that would be pretty sweet. But I realize the lore is set up the way it is, and they, they don't want to change it for that, and that's fine. All right. Oh, nothing here. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to start looking for a place to land. So it's charging up and off to the next system. So at this point, you know, I'm still going to look for biology if we can find it, but it, we don't have enough time to really sit down and scan anything. So I'm mostly just looking for a rocky body to put down on. You don't necessarily need, you, you don't have to land. There's no, there's no like game reason that you need to land. It's perfectly safe to log out in space. I just personally like to, uh, the role play aspect of setting my ship down on a body and, you know, turning everything off for the night. So there's kind of the way I like to play it. And it gives a nice intro and exit view for everybody as we're, uh, you know, it gives, it gives something interesting to look at. When we in, when we begin the episode and so, and a nice little view as we're exiting the episode, so it's all just kind of personal preference stuff. Definitely getting we're definitely uh, out of the galactic center. You can tell that the stars are much more spread apart, and the ambient light level is much less much less than it was. All right, let's hope that this one has um, some bodies in it. Go and come on. All right. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and do a full scan of this system. There should be a landable planet at the very or a landable body at the very least. So hop off onto this. Got another water world. So we'll scan that. biology What's this it's kind of a weird system okay come on okay so here's the other water world I hate it when they're behind the planets like that, or when they're behind the star like that. That's super frustrating. All right. So yeah, I'm not expecting to find any biology this time. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes these episodes have been like this. It's either we find a lot of stuff or we find nothing. And sometimes we'll have episodes where we find one or two, like a single planet that has some biology on it. Not a big fan of boom or bust situations. I, li I like consistency wherever possible. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, that's where we'll be landing then. Let's go ahead and head over to scan this water world. And I will be putting cuts into this stuff to save some time because we got to go scan some biology after this, so I'll be back. All right, I went ahead and did the water world scan off camera. You guys have seen, I think, four of those already this episode. We don't need any more of that. We'll get this uh, biological area scanned, find out what's on it, and then go find some. 
So we got Bacterium and Fonticula. Looks like they're both in about the same spot. Let's get down to the planet, get our Super Cruise Assist turned off so it doesn't turn us off to the side. And it doesn't seem like we're going to have much in the way of like areas that stand out to me for landing. We just got to kind of find a spot. So I guess kind of up this way and then we can go off to the left once we get down towards the ground there. But I mean, realistically, Fonticula is going to be in a crater somewhere. So let's just head down to this and see if we can... <clears throat> So you can find ourselves a crater. Maybe we'll find some bacterium. That'll be cool. Get a couple of different bio biological signatures here. So, yep. We'll head towards this back, this uh, this relatively large crater here. That should be... I typically find a lot of fonticula inside these craters. And if the craters are big enough, you can get all of your samples done inside of a single crater. And then we can uh, head over to the flat area there and find some bacterium, maybe. We'll, we'll see. And we won't go to the edge because I typically have issues trying to land at the edge of, towards the edge of these craters. Trying to learn lessons from the past. See what see. We'll see what we can do. Make sure our throttle's turned off. Get ourselves down to the ground here. Get our landing gear down. And then hopefully we're going to see some Fonticula here in just a moment. Yep, there's some right there in front of us. But then again, but yet again, we find unsuitable terrain for whatever reason. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm never going to stop complaining about the ridiculousness of the landing for this. We have these large flat areas, yet somehow there are places where you just, for whatever reason, can't set down. Makes no sense to me. All right, so we got to get three of these guys. Then maybe three of the other bacteria. Fonticula Campestris Emerald. I have no idea what that's worth. I have a table that I never remember to pull up when I'm doing these, but it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll just... Come on. And we'll just fly off in this direction a little bit. Get far enough away for the genetic diversity to kick in. Ideally, this is far enough. Oh, wait. <laughs> Other way. I don't know why I press a space, a space bar trying to land. That's not that's not the button I have assigned for that. Right, one more, and then we can be done. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the bacterium. I might, I might go find it off camera, but we're we're pretty much out of time, and I need to, I need to get finished with this episode. And it's not gonna be that interesting to look at anyway. Bacterium. Ooh. That was good. <laughs> that could have been, that could have been bad. All right. And there we go. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to as many people as possible. We want to get as many along for this ride as we can, and that could only happen if you guys help out. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed, and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the perks that are available for those of you who support the channel and decide if any of those are right for you. Your support is greatly appreciated and it will help me become a uh, professional YouTuber. Again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys had a lot of fun and I'll see you for the next one.